Or all that's illegal because what? because things like weed or things like mushrooms they expand your mind and they really put you into the universe and it puts you into perspective of what life is all about for instance there's a drug dmt 90 percent of people that smoke this drug when they first smoke it they hear in their head we're so happy you found this technology ew. oh my god right? ew. so ew. think about so think about that i mean there's so they want to get you into something where they can completely control you I mean, we're at the point now where they put little machines in your house to basically do everything for you. Where you have phones to listen on everything to tell you your next purchase that you want to make. And then, on my Instagram feed, a commercial for Triscuits popped up. They're listening. They're listening in. I mean, they want to be able to go in your house and stock your groceries. That's true. That's just a test to see, are the people ready for that yet? Are they ready for us to go in their house and stock their fridge? <laughs> oh my God. Like, <laughs> the flat earth kind of makes sense if you think the simulation theory is real. Why wouldn't the Earth be flat? Why wouldn't there be an ending on each side? And Elon Musk, the guy that really made it popular. It, obviously this feels real. The odds that we're in base reality is one in billions. I don't, I don't think I'm being played by somebody in a video game. But then people in video games don't generally think that. <laughs> He's like a genius, everybody trusts him, he created Tesla, all these things. Well, one thing that he did that like a lot of flat earthers felt like was a personal attack was when he sent that car into space with a camera. It showed that the Earth was round. And everybody's like, ah, see, flat Earth is stupid. Elon Musk showed us that it's round. But in that video, there is a weird moment. And it's like a glitch. And it's a moment where it kind of looks like a green screen. You see the Earth behind the car, and then it's a studio, and then it's back. Now that's been debunked, but it is weird that that happened. Who knows, maybe this is Elon Musk's way of giving us a little a little Easter egg. Maybe he never actually shot this car into space. Because this guy believes in this whole simulation theory, so why does he care about outer space? Maybe that was a little thing to put in there. Like, hey guys, let me give you a little idea that all of this is fake. All this space stuff is fake. You know what I'm saying? This is just a distraction. And then, where's the curve? Have you ever seen the curve of the Earth? You get your information from a book written by men you've never met. And you take their words as truth. I mean, they say, well, in an airplane, you could see it, but I can't see it. Yeah. You're at six feet tall. I can see about three miles ahead of me. Mm -hmm. And I can see about 20 miles in a panoramic setting. If I'm 10,000 feet up, more than a thousand times taller than what I am, shouldn't I be able to see about a thousand times more at, at minimum? I mean, the earth is only 24,000 miles around. I should be able to see some kind of a curve. They send hot air balloons up. They just still see the same horizon. So if the earth is flat, if there is. Why do people in charge want us to make it round? Because on a round earth, hurling through space at hundreds of thousands of miles an hour, we're not really here for a purpose. We're just here coincidentally because of the Big Bang and the particles and evolution. But on a flat earth, with the dome on top of it, or even just a flat earth with just the heavens above, all of a sudden we have purpose. Think about if the moon knew your name how personal you'd feel with the universe. Mm -hmm. You know the moon's name, but the moon doesn't know your name. Mm -hmm. You're not important to the moon. But what if the moon existed solely for you? Mm -hmm. What if the universe was for you? But instead, the government wants you to feel like it's all unpredictable and at any point it's all gonna go to shit because we really don't matter anyway.